Hi everyone, I'm Tracy Blend with the Ignite Your Life Systems and Lazy Mind Body Health. And in today's spark, I want to talk about what happens when we put other people's feelings ahead of ours. So let me give you some examples. Um, I work with a lot of women who have had um, other coaches, that kind of stuff. And what I hear a lot of times is, this didn't work for me but I had to finish it and I was very angry, but I didn't want to upset them or I didn't want to tell them that their service offering sucked or, 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 or. So what they did is they sat and they stewed in that negative energy for days, weeks, months, years, depending on what it was they were signing up for. Or another example would be, well, I don't want to tell them they're doing a bad job because this is going on and I don't want to upset them. But at the same time, they would complain over and over and over again about this person, which meant they weren't just telling me about it. They were telling other people about it. They were thinking about it. And it really becomes a huge distraction when we choose other people's emotions or their potential outbursts or their potential upset over what really works for us. So for example, if I hired someone, and I have, this has actually happened to me, where I hired someone and the agreement was this, and they weren't following 70% of the agreement, I might get a little grumbly about it, of course, right in the beginning. Then I would sit down and chat with them. But before I would sit down and chat with them, I would use some clearing statements, which I'm gonna share with you, so that when I sat down, I didn't shrink back. I didn't worry about their outburst, their anger, or whatever. I was more concerned about, is this actually working? In relation, is this situation actually working? So for those of you that haven't watched any of my sparks before, a clearing statement is where we clear all the known and unknown belief systems that are kind of keeping us stuck from moving forward. So what it is is I will say a statement and then I will go destroy and delete it. And as long as you acknowledge or say yes, then it will clear for you. You cannot clear or delete your truth. And everybody has a different truth, okay? So for example, I once had this um, acupuncturist that worked for me and holy Toledo, you know, she, it was just a nonstop fight. And so what ended up happening was, is I let it go on for way too long. I would sit down with her and go, okay, this is not working. This is occurring. I've told you this repeated times, blah, 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 blah. And she would get so grumbly about it that I then would avoid her. I was the owner. <laughs> And I was avoiding her like it doesn't even make sense like if I knew she was in the clinic I would shut my office door and not come out of my office like what is that right that's not a healthy situation or you know a good working environment and it affected the negative that affected the energy of the team and everybody involved in a negative way because everybody could pick up on that people always pick up that energy first so then I set to work to figure it out. And some of the clearings that came up around it was, everywhere I'm not willing to choose my feelings, my joy in business, I do story and delete it. Everywhere I'm allowing others to have the puppet strings on how I do business, I do story and delete it. Everywhere I'm allowing to people to underperform, which therefore affects my business, I do story and delete it. Everywhere, I'm not willing to cut things loose, which includes people, and, and I don't mean that people are things. Everywhere, I'm not willing to cut things loose that are not working for me. I destory and delete it. She obviously wasn't happy there either. It's just that sometimes people will not make that choice for themselves. And you never wanna become the business owner where you make them so uncomfortable they quit. That does. That is not a win for you. And when I hear women say this, women in business, it kind of pisses me off. And the reason why is that's not a true leader. That is manipulation in a negative way. And that karma comes back and bites you in the butt. Instead, be the leader, be the strong one, and be the one that has confidence to say, it's not working. I'm going to bless and release you. So that's why you'll hear a lot of gurus say things like, hire slow, fire fast. And we'll reverse that because we worry about the emotions or the outbursts or upsetting people or what will they say when they go home? I assure you that that person you fired for stealing doesn't go home and go, I lost my job today because I was stealing from the company. No, they lie. <laughs> 
but that's their stuff. It doesn't have to be your stuff, right? You don't have to go home and go, oh my God, I had to fire this person today because they were stealing. It can be, you know, the situation wasn't working out, so we release them, right? It can be just a releasing so that the other person can also go find something greater for them and you can choose something greater for you. So everywhere I'm choosing not to be the greatest version of myself in business and I'm hanging on to people or things that don't work for me and ensure that I'm staying stuck, lower vibration and negative and unhappy at work, I destory and delete it. So hopefully that gave you some insights. Hopefully that gave you some clearings so that you are able to choose something greater for you or yeah, I do that in business and I need to change it. I assure you that once you rip that bandaid off and you do it a few times, it does get easier to choose you and it does get easier to approach people and say, this is not working for me, right? That is not selfish. If it's not working for you, it's not working for you. And they do need to know about it because then that gives them the opportunity to make a change or a shift as well. So there you go. We'd love for you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. We'd love to hear your comments on it. We'd love to you for you to start choosing you, your joy, your emotions, instead of putting up with it because you don't want to offend or have conflict. Talk to you soon. See you in the next spark. Cheers.